Hello guys and girls and welcome back to a brand new video. This is not a, a Tramia video today obviously because our game's been called off which was done this morning. So this is my prediction video for the two games that are left which is the third versus fourth game on Saturday and the Sunday game is the final. So yeah, obviously the games are Croatia versus Morocco and Argentina versus France. So for me, for the first one for Croatia against Morocco, I think it'd be a good game. I think it'd be a closer game. I think it'd be a really close game. But I don't think there'll be penalties in this one because obviously both teams are good at pens. They've obviously won their last few pens that they've have won in the games. Obviously, with um, Croatia, Croatia being the likes of Brazil, absolute quality on penalties. Um, but yeah, obviously, Croatia g going out to Argentina a few days ago, which was it was a good game to watch if you were an Argentinian fan because they were absolute quality on that day. But for me, I thought Croatia weren't great. They weren't at it at all. They haven't really got a striker that's good enough. Obviously, they've got Kramrich. He's he's not that great. Obviously, former Leicester player. I, I just don't think they're, they're as good as what everyone says they are, obviously, for the strikers. But their midfield is absolute quality. I think it's perfect, obviously, with the likes of Luka Modric, uh, Kovacic and that. But yeah, um, Garvalho is it his name, the defender, who's been really good in this World Cup. So I can see him going to someone big. Obviously, there's a Celtic right back, I can't remember his name, Giovanni, Giovanni or something. But yeah, he's been really good as well. Obviously, he's been linked to Manchester United from uh, Steve McLaren that thinks he's a good player, which could be interesting in the summer or in January transfer window maybe but yeah I think with the game for this game obviously with Morocco being the teams like to Portugal uh, being Spain on pens absolute quality absolute quality and if things can happen like that again in the next World Cup which will be I think it is the 20, 2026, I think. And that would be fantastic for them if they could do that again. But obviously with some different players, the different calibre, which would be really good. But for my prediction for this game, obviously Croatia have got a good team. They've got a good team. But their strike, their strike force lets them down. I think it lets them down massively. But with Morocco, I think Morocco will be capable to get the win out of this game. But for me, I think I think both teams will score. For me, I'm going to say uh, Croatia 1 and Morocco 2. I think it'll be a close game. But do I think it'll go out extra time? No. I think this game will be done in 90 minutes. And I think it'll be a real close game, like I just said. So going into the final, Argentina versus Argentina versus France. France beating England in the last game. And Argentina beating Croatia. But for me, I just think, I just think England should be there. England should be there because obviously with yes England the municipality obviously it was hard to take but the thing is we have to blame it on one person and that is the referee the referee had a woeful game absolutely woeful game for me I thought I was like what are you absolutely doing England should have had possibly about two or three pens Obviously, they did get the second one, but he did miss the penalty. And obviously, it's just hard to take. But yeah, it's 
it's one of them, isn't it? But yeah, you've got to back your team as well as England. But for me, I, I thought France weren't that like, great in that game. Obviously, they had their chances. They took their chances. England didn't take their chances. So you have to be there to win the game if you want to be up for it to win the game, if you know what I mean. But for me, Argentina, Argentina have just been sensational. They've lost one game in this World Cup so far, this this tournament, because obviously they did get beat by Saudi Arabia in the first game, which was a shock. But for Saudi Arabia to beat Argentina, things can happen. Anything can happen in this World Cup. As of what we've seen, we've seen shocks and everything, which has been good. Obviously, the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo having his little moon leaving Manchester United and everything, but things can happen. So, Argentina, Messi, he's he's doing really well in his World Cup. He's not my GOAT, he never will be my GOAT, because my GOAT is Cristiano Ronaldo, as I'm a United fan. But for me, Messi's been quality. He's been absolute quality. I will give him the things that he deserves. I think he's been quality, but he's not my goat. But I think with the likes of Messi, obviously winning the games, scoring the penalties and everything, I think I I think Argentina could, I think Argentina could do something in this World Cup. Can they win it? Against a good team in France, obviously with the likes of um, Varane, Rabiot, uh, Mbappe, uh, Giroud, Griezmann, Dembele. It's going to be a tough test for both teams. But for me, I think this game's going to extra time. And for me, I'm going to say penalties. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Fran I'm gonna say France to win it on pens. Three two on pens. Uh, I think it'll be a close game. I'm gonna say in the game it'll be two two. I think goal scores from Argentina are gonna be messy with one and for the second I'm gonna go for a messy double. And for and and for France, I'm going to go for Giroud with one, and I'm going to have Mbappe with the other, and to take it to penalties. I think it'll be a quality game to watch, obviously because I don't think Argentina have. I think Argentina have won the World Cup, but they haven't won it recently, like sort of. Like in the last ten to fifteen years, which is going to be really interesting to see what happens on the day, and we just have we're just going to be so excited to watch this. So, I'm seeing three two France in the final on penalties, but I'm saying it a two two draw. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So please like and subscribe if you're new, and if you guys want to. Uh, so like and subscribe to the videos. That would be amazing if you can do that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And hopefully. Hopefully our game with Tramios vs Doncaster. Will be on next week. On Boxing Day. So that will be my next game to go to. So come on you boys. All the lights. Super White Army.